Hey, what up? It's dirty. Just want to make a quick video. It's for the guys who maybe can't do a lot of running gun. Maybe they live in a big city. They don't have too many shooting ranges and stuff. But still want to practice, you know, to some extent. This might be uh, something that you might want to look into. I like it here because we don't. Have, the range is kind of far away. So, and plus we only got like one public one that uh, you don't have to pay for the bullets and stuff like that. So. Uh, today actually I, I had a real shitty day so I wanted to go blow off some steam, pop off a couple rounds but um, kind of got out a little bit too late from work so I'm going to do a little shooting in the backyard, figured I'd show you guys how to do it. Um, so again, you could probably shoot these in your house if you had enough room as long as you know take the right precautions make sure there's a good backstop and you know all that crap you know just be safe don't be a stupid ass anyways please be smart about it use your brain here we go of course uh, you've probably seen these guns if you watch some other videos uh, Ruger 2245 and this is my Smith & Wesson uh, 38 special so military and police it's so old school this is um my grandfather actually, he left this for me after he passed away. And it's very nice and it's real, means a lot to me, so it's cool. So I like to shoot it. And uh, here's kind of a way you can. So for the revolver, you can use these spear plastic bullets. I think I showed these in um, the Robbie 574's contest giveaway. I figured I'd you know, give it its own little video. They're pretty cool. So this is it. You have to buy them separate. It comes with the casing. That's the red part. And the bullet is the black part. Okay, so this would be the bullet, the plastic bullet. And the way these are powered is just by a primer. There's nothing else inside. I've got an empty one here. Yeah. So all you've got to put in is a primer. And the primer shoots this out. So there's no gunpowder actually in here. So it's a lot quieter. It does get it. It does have a pretty good pop, though. Um, probably only gonna pop off a couple of these ones because they're a little bit louder than the the twenty twos. But you know, something if you maybe if you if you shot it inside, it wouldn't be too bad. Probably wouldn't you know scare any of the neighbors or anything. So, but again, I would just shoot one before you start blowing you know a bunch of them. Also, I've read. And I tried it once. You can stick these in a nine millimeter. Let's see. You got a nine millimeter right here. You prime it, and then you just get the, and you just push it all the way down inside, as far as it can go with your finger. And you can supposedly you can load it in a nine millimeter. I only got it to work once. Other than that, it, they never load. And I also bought a bunch of these in 45, um, but they don't fit either. They don't fit in any of my, you know, auto-loading pistols. So if you got a revolver, they work great. But for your auto or semi-auto and stuff like that, um, I've had a hard time so far. So if you if you had had these and you did have good uh, had any luck with putting it in your auto loader um, or your semi-auto, <clears throat> let me know what kind of you know little tips you got because so far I haven't got it to work. And for the 22, I love these. These are these are awesome, man. These 22 Calibris. They're same. They're kind of the same concept. They there's no gunpowder in them. It's only a primer. It shoots out like that little pellet at the front. And these are these are pretty quiet, man. You could you can go off with these, and no one really will probably even hear it. So I'm just gonna show you guys these real quick. I'll do a couple shoots. So you can. It's gonna be hard for you to really hear what it sounds like, but eh, shoot off a couple. So, anyways, yeah. As you can see here, I just load right in. All right, let's test this out. Alright, so there you go. 
I had a couple of them that uh, didn't fire the first time. Uh, I got I think I got to tune up this revolver. It's been having problems um, striking the primer, so we'll try the 22. All right, here we go. Just that 22.45. This one, I usually can only get four rounds to stay in. You know, good. Other than that, they kind of pop out, so that's another drawback on these. So let's try this out. So there we go. Pretty fun. As you can see, those plastic ones, they'll do some damage. So, I mean, don't be shooting them at each other or anything. Don't be stupid. And uh, the twenty twos, I mean, they, they got enough power, too, to do, you know, they probably hurt like a bitch if not draw blood or, you know, do major damage. I, I don't really know. All right. So, as you can see, the plastic bullets, they shoot a little bit low. I was aiming for over here. I was shooting around here. Um, the 22s, they're pretty good, you know, up to a certain, um, you know, certain distance. Even the plastic ones, they ain't going to go that far. That was only about 10 feet away, so. But, you know, if you want to practice your trigger, trigger pull, or, you know, you just want to mess around, maybe have some fun with the kids or something. These are pretty cool. Uh, remember, be safe. These plastic ones, especially, they're probably a ricochet if you shoot anything hard, so. Be careful. I mean, they're even bouncing off this box. So, again, just be safe. Be careful. Don't do anything stupid, you know. Hope you guys like this stuff. It's pretty cool. It is a little bit loud. Um, depending, on, depending on how cool your neighbors are, you might want to do it indoors. But, yep. So, check them out if you want them. I got, I got these spear plastic bullets off Midway USA. They're pretty cheap. They're like 10 bucks or something. I forget. I don't know. I don't know the price, but yeah, they're pretty cool. So if you want to shoot inside, or if you want to shoot in your backyard and not bother anybody, remember to be safe, make sure there's a backstop, or, you know, like they teach you in hunter safety, make sure you know what's beyond your target, you know, be smart about things, don't be a dumbass. Anyways, this is Dirty, shoots.